Welcome back to Drink, Drink or Eat Fabio. I'm oh my god, we both, <laughs> we both put our hands up like this at the same time. Jazz Sparkle hands. fingers. <laughs> I'm Kate Perler. And I'm Sophia Kaiofis, and we are your hosts of this podcast. So today, we're doing an OG Drink or Eat Fabio video, which means that Kate is going to recommend a book for us to read, and she created a lovely cocktail based on the book. And I have a very crazy, um, cringy romance for us to talk about, and then we're gonna rate it. Yeah! So, starting off with me. <laughs> oh, with me. I'm recommending Mixed Signals by BK Borson. <laughs> Guys, if you know me, you know I love the Love Light farm series. I already recommended the first one. This is the last one in the series um, because, come on, it's about a bakery owner. So oh, cute. No. It's just yeah. the best. It's so wholesome. It's so heartwarming. And it's really what I need to get me through these last winter weeks because your girl is struggling with this seasonal depression. Yes. So, because she's a baker, I made a chocolate cake drink yeah and it's basically just chocolate milk and rum <gasps> amazing you can add um chocolate syrup to it if you want but we didn't have any so so here we are cheers cheers, cheers. cheers and so on i know who watery <laughs> it's been sitting for a little bit love it good i mean i'm happy i'm happy Okay, are y'all ready to... Let's do it. Get... What is it? Spacey. <gasps> oh, that cover. Is she pregnant? Yes. Uh -huh. It's called When She's Pregnant. This cover. Oh, my gosh. I know. It's by Ruby Dixon, who wrote Ice Planet Barbarians. I it's thought a part so. of... A similar world I think I don't think it's the same series but it's like another alien series she has oh my gosh yeah and this is one of the novellas so let's get started oh man it's crazy just I just oh also I have to read the dedication this is what says for all the bitches that like a baby book it's me I'm bitches <laughs> oh no Ruby Ruby. Okay. So, the book starts off with our main character, Naomi, oh. heading to the custodial office, which is like... Have you had another book where the name was Naomi? Yeah. Naomi's a sassy gal. Mm-hmm. Anyway, continue. Naomi gets around. <laughs> um, she's heading to the custodial office, which in, like, their alien world is, like, I couldn't really understand what it was. I couldn't understand if it was, like, the police or if it was, like, just to help office okay i don't really know they just like help a help center okay she has received fertility shots um to help her get pregnant as she's like she works on a farm she's like i'm kind of lonely and like a child would be fun <laughs> so she doesn't have a man she's just getting yeah injected to be pregnant yes okay but well she's getting injected to make her more fertile so she has then, to find a man yes an alien so man. she had a man she had an alien man um but before he was out to have sex with her he was like actually i'm in love with another girl i got pregnant so i can't do this is this like their society thing where they just like pick someone random to have a baby with mm. they don't really form no. Okay. They do. They do form relationships, but he was like a guy that was like used to doing this. Okay. For other like, women. Oh, if but somebody then, wants a baby, I got you. Yeah, but then he actually fell in love with one of them. So good. So like a sperm donor, but but actually, actually has having sex. sex. Okay. Yeah. So she's only has a certain time window that she that the fertility shot like will actually help she's like dude so, i just bought a poke in my arm yeah so she's freaking out and she's like okay i only have 24 hours to have sex Ooh, that's so she fast. goes to the custodial office and the first guy that is the one working there um she's like instead of like explaining her situation or like being like i really 
Do you, you have do? anyone who might want to have sex with me? She just says, I need to get laid. Straight up to this alien man. And he's confused. He doesn't understand what getting laid means. So he's like, would you like to sleep somewhere in our <laughs> office? And she's like, what? No. Like, I need, I want to have sex. Oh. She was like, at first I was going to ask you if you had anybody you knew, but you're kind of cute and you seem nice. So do you want to get me pregnant? And like explains what her situation is. Okay. Is she a human? Yes. Okay. She's human and he's alien. Okay. Yeah. Glad I got that covered. Yeah. All the humans that are on Ruby Dixon's planets have all been kidnapped and were like slaves at first. Okay. Pretty much. So she used to be a slave and now she, like, the aliens fought for human rights, I guess. Um, so, yeah. Um, anyway. So, obviously, he's obsessed with her. Of course. From the very beginning. Of course. And he's like, he's yes. like yes, I will have sex with you, of course. Um, so she's like, well, I don't really have time to spare, so let's just kind of do it now. In the office. Yeah. And he's like, uh, okay. And she's like, show me your desk. And he's like, okay, come with me to the desk. And no one's there, but it's like an open area. Like, so anyone could just walk in at any moment. They couldn't just go down to her, like, space tunnel or... Yeah. I don't know what their rooms are called. A bathroom. Anything. A closet. Anything. But no. Right out in the open. On the desk. So... Yeah, they have sex for, like, multiple hours. Because after the first time, they're like, this is amazing. And no one walks in? Well. Oh. Um, so, again, this alien um, has a crazy, like, penis, just like the last book. So, if you guys didn't hear that episode, basically, the penis is, has, like, ridges on it. It's a and sex toy. It's, like, basically a dildo. And then it has, like, a thing that comes up above outside of the the main part the main part and it like massages the clitoris like so a, like it's a, like a dildo. dildo yeah it's a dildo but he has piercings on the tip of his penis four piercings all the way around so he's like a sex toy um they have sex like a bajillion times like seven or eight times wow yeah Hours later, someone arrives for their shift at work. Of course, because they're having sex on his desk. Yeah. And they have to be super speedy and, like, get their clothes back on, and she, like, finds a way to sneak out and go outside and go home. And the guy that works there... Okay, so, like, the aliens can, like, smell sex. Like, they can smell <laughs> arousement in the air. As most um, fantasy characters can. Yes, exactly. Just like Agatar, you can smell it. So, like, he's like, what Who did this? He's like, what did you do? <laughs> what happened here? Because it reeks. Uh, <laughs> um, and he explains, like, what happened, that he was just trying to serve and do his job. Mm -hmm. uh, but then it kind of turned into... More. More, because they were attracted to each other. He's like, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do, boss. Yeah. He's like, I'm just supposed to, I'm here to serve, okay? <sighs> so his friend Kex, the one that is his co-worker, is like, well, what are you doing here? Like, your shift is over. Go find her and tell her that you actually like her. So, Anar, mm -hmm. who is the alien. Anar. Anar. I think that's how you would say it. Goes to Naomi's house with flowers, and she opens the door, and he says, I wish to taste your see you next Tuesday. Just straight up. That's the first thing he's asked her. <laughs> and then he says, was that inappropriate? Kex told me to be straightforward. Like, he doesn't understand the social rules of, like, Oh my gosh. Humans. Okay. So he's, like... Confused. This is what I want. Yeah. Cool. And she's like, um, okay, it's fine. I'm just surprised that you're here. She's like, come inside. I was about to make breakfast. So he's like, he he's like, I can make breakfast for you, like, if you need to clean up or anything. Cute. And she's like, okay. So he makes her pancakes and, like, gives her this, like, alien fruit. And, of course, it's, like, amazing. Mm -hmm. The best pancakes ever. 
Um, and she's like, okay, we need to like talk about what this is because I don't want to like baby daddy. Like, I don't want you to think you have an obligation to me if you get me pregnant. Like, we can have sex and be friends, but this I don't want anything serious. Yeah, I don't want anything serious. Um, and he's like, honestly, slay. Like, he's like, don't yes. say less. Say less. I just will do anything you want if I can be around you. Also, by this point, he's realized that she's his mate. Of course. Of course. So he's like, he's like, we'll get married one day. It's You're fine. mine. It's fine. Then they get naked. They strip. Decide to go take a shower together because she didn't end up taking a shower she was like actually i really want the pancakes right now um she finds out he has nipple piercings mm -hmm. and a bunch of tattoos and this is just a funny part <laughs> so one of his tattoos says i like noodles <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a joke like he did it to win a contest so it's not like he like honestly like thought that was Why a good is tattoo. That, look how short this book is. Why is that important? I know. And I just have to read this page for you because it's so funny. So he points to the tattoo and he goes, This one encourages anyone that views it to feast upon the biggest noodle of all. And then No! She, <laughs> no! And then she goes, Play your cards right and you might get that big noodle feasted upon no! after all. No! really bad. I know. It's so That's bad. It's really bad. It's so bad. It's like supposed to be funny, but it's not. It's just weird. Um, so then they shower together uh -huh. and just like in Avatar, how their wings are sensitive, his tail's really sensitive. Okay. So she like strokes his tail in the shower and it's like crazy for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy for him. It's so crazy. Um, then they go to bed and like he does stuff to her. Man, um, it's a lot of sex for a small book. Oh yeah. It's like pretty much porn. Um, then he spends the night and they talk all night and get to know each other and he makes her breakfast again in the morning. So at this point they like really like each other. Mm -hmm. Um, nothing serious. But nothing serious just yet. But we're mates. But nothing serious. But he doesn't <laughs> tell her that they're mates. Oh, gotcha. He actually never does. Oh. Um, he heads to work and his other coworker, Rektar, is there and he's like his boss. Mm -hmm. And Rektar says, okay, I know what happened, and, you know your buddy did not keep a secret he told everybody basically okay. and um he's like what are you doing dude like he's like i really like her like i think she likes me too and he's like well you know you you know she might not feel the same way you do like he's known for being head over here heels really quickly and like really forward and rectar is like she might she's a human like she thinks differently than we do and he basically gets in rec in Anar's head and so he's like I don't know like I guess maybe she doesn't and Mark Dar's like I think the best thing to do is don't talk to her and like if she wants to see you she'll contact you it's like put the ball in her court okay so Naomi does nothing about this but she's pissed that he hasn't contacted her okay and she's like anar ghosted me i thought we had something but he never reached out reached out so i guess he doesn't like me so at this point she's at the clinic seeing if like her thing worked and if she's pregnant and she gets the results she starts crying and she runs out of the clinic and heads to the custodial office where anar works she like storms into the office she's crying and she's like dude, why did you ghost me? Like, I thought we had something good. And he's like, I have failed you. I'm going to leave the planet. I have done nothing good. And she's like, what, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, just stop ghosting me. You're leaving? And he's like, I cannot be here on this planet and make you uncomfortable anymore. <laughs> she's like, I what? just want you to talk to me. And he's like, I think you're perfect and I okay. like want to be around you and all this stuff. And he's like, I thought if you wanted to see me, you would say something, but you never did. So I just wanted to give you space. And she's like, you're dumb. Of course I wanted to hang out with you. And men have the audacity 
to tell us that we're dramatic. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Even alien men. Even alien men. And then she's like, next time, just, like, talk to me and tell me, like, what your feelings are. Um, and he's like, okay, I will, and I'm sorry that I didn't get you pregnant. And she's like, oh, actually, I am pregnant. I just came over here to tell you that. And he's like, what? what she's like, crying? I thought you were pregnant because you came over here crying. And she's like, well, I was just in shock and I didn't think it was going to work. And I was upset because I wanted to share it with you and I couldn't. It's like, I hope it works. We had sex for 17 hours. Yeah, literally. Literally. And she said, and like in the book, she like sits with her like legs up against the wall to make sure it like all goes in. And I'm like, I don't know if that's how that works but okay Love so that. um then they like rekindle everything they agree to like take it slow and make sure they're on the same page and he invites her to have dinner at his place then they chat out like their relationship and like how she doesn't want him to be a father for her she just wants to like get to know him and take it slow and um, then they have sex at his place, of course. It's, like, freaking all thing. sex. It's 100 pages, and there's, like, three sex scenes? Four? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, okay. Then, fast forward, 13 months later, she's hella pregnant. Yeah. I guess alien pregnancies are longer. Okay. Um, yeah, I thought that, too. I was, like, 13 months. Um, she's gonna have a baby girl. Uh -huh. And she shows up to Anar's work, and he has homemade sticky buns Aww. that her friend made for her because it's, like, her favorite thing ever. And she opens the box, and there's a ring inside, and Anar asks her to marry him. So she says, yes, and she's like, what if I don't want to wait? And he's like, then we'll go to the city hall and we'll get married right now. Aww. And she's like, wait, I need an hour. And he's like, why? And she says, so I can have sex with you in the closet. And that's how the book ends. With I them on the way to the closet. I thought it was something cute, but no. Just no, just sex. Banged before. Mm -hmm. Gotta get it in. Gotta get it in. Uh, so, yeah. How <laughs> stupid. I know. It is kind of dumb. It was kind of dumb. Like, Anar was honestly really sweet and wholesome. Like, he was... Except for that dramatic part. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm leaving forever. Yeah, he's kind of, like, innocent in that way where he's like, okay, immature. I... Well, not immature. He just, like, doesn't understand. Like, it's not in his culture. And he's like, okay, then I will leave you because I... Whatever. They're dramatic because they're fucking aliens. Like, I don't know. <laughs> um... But, yeah, so that, are, like, like, the relationship part was kind of cute, but, like, oh, man, it was just, like... So much. So much. So I'm going to have you read two quotes. Good. So this little part. Okay. This is Naomi. I am the sluttiest slut that ever slutted, and I don't even care. Us. <laughs> Am I about to bone a per Not the word bone. Mm. That's like teenagers. Did he did you get boned? Did you get boned? Did he bone you? I'm about to bone a perfect stranger on his desk at work so he can impregnate me? Absolutely. <laughs> and it's all written together. This one who had me dying. Dying. Oh man. I swear to god, it's like a snake falls out of <laughs> Uh, give me a sec. <laughs> I swear to God, it's like a snake falls out of... I swear to God, it's like a snake falls out of his pants. I stare in shock as the biggest... <laughs> prettiest blue dick reveals itself to me. <laughs> I'm five years old. I'm five years old. I was like, not a snake. Not a snake. The biggest, prettiest snake. Yeah, of course it is, because he's a walking dildo. <laughs> no! Uh, oh, that got me good. Man! That, yeah, I was like, 
You're kidding me. <laughs> yeah, like you can tell this whole entire book it's written by a woman. Like she has put a woman's opinion on every single section of this. It's like wow. the perfect thing any girl would want. Like the perfect dildo penis and he's like super big and like Must knows how to do everything really great and he's super nice and respectful and accommodating all these amazing amazing things and like that's a woman that's a woman's touch right there anyway, we haven't done this in a while no we haven't we gotta read it. it so we like to rate our books on how drunk you would need to be to say you actually enjoyed the book so do you want to do the scale? Sure. <laughs> so, we start off with slightly buzzed, tipsy, drunk, stumbling, and blackout. blackout. So, what was the Sophia? I would say drunk. Oh. Like, it was middle ground. There were parts where I was like, oh yeah, this is honestly cute. But there are other parts I'm like, I could not ever go up to someone and say, I really liked this book. <laughs> this book. It's like getting hidden on the back of your shelf. Yeah, I'm like, uh, sorry. But, I mean, it flows really well. I think, I thought the same thing when I read Ice Planet Barbarians. I thought the writing was good. Like, I honestly think the relationship's not that bad. It's kind of cheesy. But, like, the sex part, like, And just the content, the content in its own. And the it's alien, the alien setting. I'm just like I, I That's can't. That's what I mean. Take like this seriously. the impregnating alien space theme is just like this is like someone's fantasy. Oh, for and sure. And she wrote it in a book. Like it's very specific. It's an alien impregnating fantasy. Mm -hmm. And I'm all. For sex positivity, but I, girlies, this is not, this not is not fantasy. my fantasy. <laughs> this is not my fantasy. Anyway, on anyway. that note, like, subscribe, follow us on all the things, and we'll see you next time on Drink